calculated fields allows you to create a new data from data that already exists in your data source. With calculated fields, we can do many, many interesting things like to segment the data, to convert the data type of a field, like converting a string to a date, to aggregate data, to filter results and to calculate ratios. When you create a calculated field, you are essentially creating a new field in your data source. The values which are determined by the calculation fields that you can control. This calculated field is saved to your data source in the Tableau, which can be used to create a robust visualization. Calculated fields, you can write your own formula and there exists some default functions to make your work easy. There are three types of calculated fields. One is the basic calculation, which allows you to transform values or members at the data source level of detail or at the visualization level of detail. The second one is level of detail expression. It's just like a basic calculation, which allows you to compute values at the data source level and the visualization level. However, LOD calculation gives you more control on the level of granularity you want to compute. They can be performed at more granular level, like include or less granular level, exclude or entirely independent granular level that is fixed. The third type of calculation calculated field is table calculation. Table calculation allows you to transform values at the level of detail of the visualization only. So, we have three types of calculated fields that is basic calculation, level of detail and table calculation. Let us see the basic calculation now with the sample super data store. Here you can see that we have sample super data store. The calculated field can be created either in the data pane, click on this drop down and then you can select create calculated field. This is one possibility. The second one is you can go to the analysis tab and then click create calculated field. Once you click create calculated field, you will get this window where the right side, you can see that you have various functions which are available by default. If you click on this drop down, you can see the functions which are relevant to number, string, date, type conversion, logical, aggregate, user, table calculation and spatial functions. If you select on number, the functions which are relevant to number will appear. If you select on string, the functions which are which can be done with the string data type will appear here. Let us just click all. And if you select any function here, for example, ASCII, it will tell you what is the purpose of the ASCII function, which returns the ASCII code value of the first character in a string. If you click on date, so what is, what is the purpose of the function? It will display. If you select any function, it will show what is its purpose. Now, let us see how to create a calculation, calculated field for to calculate the discount ratio. So I'm going to just name the calculated field as discount ratio. If you didn't name it, it will be created as a calculation one. If you name it, it will be easy for us to understand what is that. So I'm going to create a calculated field that is a discount ratio here. So for that, I can use the formula if. So once I press if, you can see that is appearing here and you can see an F letter, which means that this is a function. So you can select. So once you have selected it, it is showing what are all the parameters you have to pass into it. Like you have to pass the test function, then an else function. So here I'm giving sales. See, these are the parameters which is available in our data source. So it is showing the name of that. If sales not equal to zero, so I'm giving the text condition and I'm 
telling that if it is not equal to zero, then we can give the we can uh, calculate discount divided by sales. So the formula checks if sales is not equal to zero. If true, it returns the discount ratio that is discount divided by sales. If false, it will return zero. So this is what the test condition and if it goes true, then this statement that is this expression will execute. If it goes false, then this expression will execute. If this formula is a valid formula, then you will get like this is valid even if i miss one parenthesis it will show you an error that the calculation contains an error you can click on this and see what is the error is so i'm closing this and you can apply and click ok you can find that discount ratio that is the calculated field which we have created now is appearing here and you can see the symbol of the calculated field that is you can see an equal to and a hash so you can also create this in the view pane itself like if you simply go and double click here you can find something is available so here if you click on some and you can find sales okay of course, sum of sales is available here. So if you want to add sales and uh, any other sales plus profit or sales plus um, discount. So if you want to do any other thing, so you can use it here. You can create the calculated field directly in the view itself, but that is not the permanent one. That will be only ap applicable for this specific visualization. So, we can use the discount ratio in the view pane as well. So, let us just drag and drop the category which is available here. Okay, it is under product. So, I am just dragging and dropping category. It is executing the query. So, you got the category here and I am also using subcategory and I'm just searching for the region to the columns I'm just dragging and dropping category and subcategory to the rows region to the columns and then finally I am moving the discount ratio to the color you can see the color here you can see that binders are heavily discounted in the central region. Notice that discount ratio is automatically aggregated as sum. Here you can see that it is as sum. Okay. If you want to change that, you can change it. Go to the measure and if you want to change it to average, median, count or anything, you can change it here. You can also see that this is available here. It is showing the color code. If you want to change the color code, that is also possible here. If you want to edit the calculated field, that is also possible. So you can go to the discount ratio, click on the drop down which is available and click here edit. If you want to change any calculation here, you can change it and then click apply and OK to edit it. So that is also available if you want to change the aggregated one. For example, as default, if it is sum, if you want to change it to average or anything, you can also change it. So in the further sessions, we will discuss about the other type of aggregated uh, that is calculated field like LOD and table calculations. Thank you for watching and subscribe and share this video.